DMT is one of the most powerful psychedelic substances known to humanity. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss why the DMT experience raises fundamental questions about the nature of reality. And this could help us unlock new discoveries about consciousness and the cosmos. Commonly known as the spirit molecule, N-N-dimethyltryptamine is found all throughout the natural world in thousands of different plant and animal species, including human beings. It's a mystery why this powerful psychedelic substance is naturally produced in our bodies, and modern science has yet to determine the role it plays in human physiology. But the real mysteries of this substance are in the experience itself, which is so profound that it is often compared to the near-death experience. In both DMT and near-death experiences, people report similar descriptions of separating from the physical body and traveling to spiritual realms of existence beyond the physical universe. The famous researcher and psychonaut Terence McKenna used to call this a 100% reality switch, meaning that one moment you are sitting on your couch and the next moment you find yourself in a completely different realm of existence beyond the physical universe. DMT users almost always report that when they arrive in these alternate realms, they encounter intelligent beings or entities inhabiting those spaces. And as strange as that may sound, DMT users also report that these experiences feel convincingly real. In fact, a recent survey of 2,561 DMT experiencers found that after trying DMT, 81% said that their DMT experience felt more real than everyday life. And 80% of the sample stated that this experience changed their fundamental understanding of reality, which is just astonishing if you consider that this is a 15 minute psychedelic experience. Mainstream science tells us that all these DMT experiences are nothing more than hallucinations in the brain. But is that really the full truth? In this video, I'm gonna share some evidence that there is much more to the mystery of DMT than we currently understand, and if that is the case, what might this substance reveal about the nature of reality? Welcome back to Cosmic Consciousness. My name is Jonas and I'm really excited for this video. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe and hit that bell icon to support this channel. Now, Nikola Tesla once said, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Tesla recognized that a deeper understanding of this mystery of life requires looking beyond our everyday awareness and even beyond the physical universe altogether. And this is exactly what DMT could enable us to do. According to the research of Dr. Rick Strassman, who wrote DMT, The Spirit Molecule, more than 50% of high-dose DMT experiences include these encounters with non-physical phenomena, non-physical realms, dimensions, and beings. This is illustrated by the following trip reports. I was experiencing what I felt was where you go when you die. I just went directly into um an experience that I can best describe as Dharmakaya, the uh, Tibetan Book of the Dead, uh, the sense of all of existence being present just as this incredible source of light. My sense was at, at some point there was this implicit sense, this is the divine realm. This is the divine realm. And it, it was not like a thought, but it was like this implicit kind of grokking recognition. Where I realized that I was in the area where souls await rebirth. And I was there, and I had been there so many times before. I recognized it, and this incredible transcendent peace came over me. I have never in my life ever felt such peace. Uh, it was absolutely blissful and euphoric. And I just felt like it wasn't I. 
I was everything. I was the light. A thousand years of experience in 15 minutes. Well, to say the least, it, it was profound. It, it, was, it was profound. If we take these experiences at face value, DMT seems to suggest that in a very compelling way that we are living in a multi-dimensional reality. That beyond this physical universe, there is a multitude of other realms, dimensions, and planes of existence beyond what we can perceive with our limited five senses. Could it be that even though this universe is vast and infinite, it is only the tiniest tip of the iceberg in the grand scheme of things. Physicists have discussed the possibility of parallel universes and some theoretical physics such as string theory or M theory postulate that reality is multidimensional in its structure. And this isn't a new idea, right? I mean, shamans and spiritual visionaries have been telling us about these transcendent realms since the dawn of humanity. For example, the Tibetan Book of the Dead is an attempt to document and describe these spiritual realms of existence beyond this lifetime. If we do live in some sort of a multiverse, could it be possible that DMT is a tool like a telescope that could allow us to glimpse some of this greater reality. Here's another question. What does DMT tell us about the nature of consciousness? Because if these visits to non-physical realms are real in some sense or another, then what does that say about us that we can visit these realms? Does that mean that some aspect of consciousness is non-physical as well? Do these out-of-body DMT experiences indicate that consciousness can exist independently of the physical body and brain? Many DMT users do describe this experience as a trip to some sort of an afterlife or a spiritual realm and even describe feelings of familiarity like this is a place we have been before. Now, what makes this even more interesting is that, again, as previously mentioned, research has demonstrated that there are these incredible parallels between DMT and near-death experiences. In both DMT and near-death experiences, people describe the same core characteristics of separating from the physical body, traveling to non-physical realms of existence, encountering beings there, and gaining new insights into the nature of life. Personally, I do think that this is compelling evidence that our current understanding of consciousness, this materialist understanding that consciousness is produced by the brain, is incorrect that there is much more to the mystery of consciousness than we currently understand. Now, of course, all of this leaves us with more questions than answers, but that's exactly why I think this topic of DMT is important to discuss and explore because it does call into question all these basic scientific assumptions about life and death and the nature of reality. And I'm not at all trying to claim that these DMT experiences are all objectively real or true. However, I do think it's absolutely true that our current understanding of this substance is wildly incomplete and leaves a lot to be explained for several reasons. First of all, our current understanding of DMT does not account for why this molecule naturally occurs in the human body and the role it plays in our physiology. I mean, from an evolutionary perspective, why have we evolved, every single one of us, to have this compound in our system right now? Secondly, if these DMT experiences are all simply hallucinations in the brain, how can we explain the astounding consistency in DMT trip reports? All over the world, regardless of social, cultural, religious background, people report the same fundamental characteristics of these out-of-body experiences, traveling to other realms and dimensions, and encountering beings there. And if you look at these entity encounters, for example, some of the details that people report are so specific, 
such as telepathic communication or encountering little elf-like creatures or an advanced race of extraterrestrial intelligence. Some of these details are so specific yet so consistent that it becomes very, very difficult to say that these are all just coincidentally being hallucinated by people all over the world. Thirdly, if these experiences are all hallucinations in the brain, again, how can we explain this amazing connection between DMT, near-death experiences, and mystical states of consciousness? As I've discussed in previous videos, millions of near-death experiences have been documented all over the world. And at a certain point, if we have millions and millions of people reporting these trips to transcendent realms of existence and stating that these experiences felt more real than everyday life, at a certain point it becomes ridiculous to say that all these people are hallucinating the same exact thing and describing it in the same way. The fourth reason why there is more to this mystery than we currently understand is that new discoveries in science and quantum physics are actually validating what people are subjectively experiencing in the DMT experiences. For example, new discoveries in quantum physics may be indicating that consciousness is indeed non-local, that consciousness does exist beyond the physical brain and beyond space and time altogether. And as previously mentioned, cutting edge theories in physics do suggest that parallel realities, universes, or dimensions are very much real. In other words, there is scientific evidence to support the validity of what people are reporting in the DMT experience. And fifth, these DMT experiences are not only validated by new scientific discoveries, they're also valid validated by ancient spiritual wisdom. All the spiritually awakened beings from all throughout history, from Buddha to Jesus, they have all told us that there is a divine transcendent spark in the core of our being that continues on beyond the death of this body. That there are alternate realms and planes of existence. And is it really just coincidence that all these spiritual, spiritually awakened people are telling us essentially the same things that DMT users are telling us? If we revisit this idea that 81% of DMT users describe this experience as more real than this lifetime. I mean, what if we just open to the possibility that this is real in a way that we don't yet understand, at least in some cases? If we open to that possibility, think about how much DMT could reveal to us about the mysteries of life and the universe. The spirit molecule seems to be very clear in its message. Life is an infinite miracle. There is a multitude of other realms and dimensions of existence. And we are transcendent spiritual beings in a temporary human lifetime. The survey mentioned earlier of 2,561 DMT users found that more than half of those who identified as an atheist before the experience no longer identified as an atheist afterwards. This is just incredible. Again, a 15 minute experience that goes right to the heart of some of life's biggest questions. And in that sense, DMT can be an incredibly powerful tool for healing, awakening, and the evolution of consciousness. And that's exactly the role that it played in my life. And that's what this is all about, right? It's how do we use this experience to become a better person, to become better people and leave the world a better place? How do we use the insights, the wisdom that were gained in the experience and bring them back into this lifetime, embodying those higher states of consciousness in this lifetime? Now that's a topic for a future video. If you would like to talk DMT with me, you can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one session at my website, innervisionpsychedelics.com. I'm sending so much love to every single one of you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.